join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. We've arrived at Connolly Station in the centre of Dublin for our trip to Belfast. You may have already seen the film of our journey in the other direction by bus. Check that out if you feel it's interesting to compare the train journey with the bus journey. Originally called Dublin Station when it opened in 1844 and later renamed Amin Street Station a decade later, it wasn't until 1966 and the 50th anniversary of the Easter Rising that the station was yet again renamed to commemorate the socialist revolutionary James Connolly. Trains leave here for Belfast approximately every two hours, but what's exciting about today's trip is that I bought a first class ticket. It's the first time that I've travelled first class on this Dublin to Belfast route, so I'm keen to see if it's worth it. And there's my train on the right hand column leaving for Belfast at 15.20. The Belfast trains always leave from Platform 2 and customers are corralled into a special waiting area for the Belfast passengers. And here we are. As you can see, it's quite busy. Of course, not all these passengers are going as far as Belfast. The train stops at Drogheda, Dundalk, Newry and Portadown as well. So my first class ticket doesn't afford me any special treatment in terms of the queue. So let's see what's in store on board. So for first class, I go in this direction. I guess the interior of the first class carriage is a little more plush, but not massively so. I suppose the only advantage is that there are less passengers in first class, so it's a bit quieter. But at twice the price, perhaps that's not surprising. I spent £28.20p on my first class ticket. A regular single fare could probably be bought for about half of that. So as I get comfortable here, we pull out of Connolly Station at 20 past 3 and head out through the Dublin suburbs. It's not much different to any other capital city suburbs as seen from a train. There's lots of graffiti. It'll soon be dark, so we'll take advantage of the passing scenery while it's still daylight. One tip I would give when travelling to Belfast is that you should book a seat on the platform side of the train. That way you can see lovely views of the sea as you head north. And we're just pulling into Drogheda station now, our first stop, and unfortunately the last station we'll see as it's going to be dark soon. Finally, as we arrive at our destination of Belfast, is the first class ticket worth it? I would say not. The carriage is not that different to those in second class, and regardless, you'll still end up queuing like everyone else to board the train and to exit the station in Belfast. It was a nice quiet trip, so perhaps if you need to work on the train, it might be worthwhile. I hope this has been useful. If so, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to support future videos on the channel. And I'll see you in the next film.